It has been a while since I last did a pork openings. I think it's been like a month or two, I think. Um, and those of you with long memories may have remembered that I kind of rebranded the series. Why? Is it because it's performing poorly and no one ever watches them? Well, yes, but that's been true of the start since the start. Um, no, actually, I just thought I'd make it a bit more streamlined and stuff. And as you can see, today we just have the one product in front of us, but it is a bit of a special one. It is the Ultra Necrozma GX box, but, as you may have noticed, it is indeed Dragon Majesty, which is a limited set, kind of like Shining Legends or um, Evolution. Wait, no, what was Generations, that was the one. And yeah, as you can see, it comes with four cards, a big promo, and a normal promo. I shall flip to the back very briefly, if anyone does want to read of that, uh, feel free to pause the video. And without further ado, let's crack into this. As you can see, there's um, cellophane over it, so I've not ripped into it or anything. This is actually a gift from um, someone from Secret Santa, and is actually incredibly appreciated, because um, I tried a few times to buy some Dragon Majesty stuff from a local card shop, and unfortunately, there was absolutely nothing there. Um, so yeah, so I, I kind of just, I mean, I could have bought them online. But, um, I don't know, I think it makes this doubly, um, you know, impressive. So there's the box, she'll cast that to the side, and off to the side I also have this one Forbidden Light um, th uh, sleeve, because I thought, well, it's fitting Ultra Necrozma and stuff like that. Um, just in case we pull one of the, like, rainbow, so I think there's rainbow rares, and I think there's a gold rare in here as well, which would be... Amazing, because if you remember years and years and years ago, I did a um, pork openings featuring my friend Wolfie the Semth, and he indeed pulled a gold rare Z uh, Zekrom, I think it was, from like, you know, it was a good few sets ago now, but um, yeah, that was phenomenal pull. So, as you can see in front of us, we have the Ultra Necrozma GX card. It's very shiny. It's, um, yeah, it's a really nice GX. Ultra Necrozma is such a cool design as well. I've still not got that far in Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, I keep saying I need to go back to it. I think I've been saying that for about a year now, but, um, you know, I just haven't found the time. Anyway, and that is the enlarged card if you want to see it in just a little bit more detail. And so, without further ado, I shall um, set everything up nicely, grab the packs, and I'll be right back. Alright then, I am back, I have the four packs in front of us, and as you can see, I have three of the four designs. We have Dragonite, Salamance, Dragonite again, and Palkia. Wait, no, that's not Palkia, <laughs> that's Rashiram, sorry. It's, um, it hadn't focused yet, and I'm looking through my viewfinder. So, because we've got two Dragonite packs, I'm going to start with one of them. Now, it says here there are ten cards... I don't know if that means 10 cards and there's an energy, or if there's 10 cards. Um, so, I'm going to put 3 to the front. Actually, I'm going to open this pack regular, like, without doing any card tricks, because this could be different. Um, so, let's start with, if it wants to focus, this very, very light-looking uh, Totodile. Very nice. Bit Ken Sugimori-ish in the art there. Uh, next up, we, ha Ooh, we have a Dratini. Oh, yeah. Obviously, because this is like Dragon-themed, isn't it? Um, yeah, very nice Dratini. Next up, we have a Hakomo O. Line I've never been massively fond on. Oh, we have another Dratini doing a different pose. Nice, there are two Dratini cards in the set. Is that the same for the, its evolution lines? Who knows? But we do have a Kangaskhan. Very nice. Yo, okay, we have a Prism card. Is that normal? I've never opened Dragon Majesty before, so... I... Is that... That's really cool, isn't it? That's really good, I think. Or is that normal? Is that instead of reverse? Do we not get any reverses? I mean, either way, it's a Victini, so it's clearly... A very good... Yo! Oh, look at the border. That's... That's really nice. So I don't know if you get those in every pack or ever. 
Uh, right, next up is a GX. Yes! All right then, nice. It's a Kindra GX. Yo, look at that car. That is very nice. Now, I hear that much like Shining Legends, every pack is guaranteed a hollow. So, you know, I mean, we're going to get at least hollows and stuff, but yo, what a start. Kingdra GX. Man, I keep forgetting Kingdra exists. Oh, wait, we've got an energy. Which means... Ah, wait, hang on. Are we going to get three uncommons? we got Turtonator. Hey, there we are. We have a Fiery Flint. And we should have one more. That is, yes, we have Weller Volcanic Volcano Park. Okay, so it is four to the front, as usual, then. Um, wow, <laughs> what a pack to start with. Very nice. Let's move on to Salamance next. Now, I can't remember how many cards are in this set, and it doesn't particularly matter, because... Four packs, you're not going to run into too many doublers unless the set is like Dragon Vault size, where it's like 12 packs or something. I can't remember. Anyway, right. Code card to the side. Four to the front. Will it be fire? No, it will not. Right, let's begin. Ooh, we have a Quagsire. Yeah, what, what is going on with that background? It's like he's giving a physics lesson on centrifugal force or something. Fair enough. Ooh! Zyga Zygarde! as an uncommon! Who made Zygarde an uncommon card? Okay, we have Zinnia. Ah, yes! Yo, Z Zinnia's theme is so good. It's like one of the highlights of um, our ass. We have Torchic. Ooh, a Vibrava. Um, very fitting. Wait, no. No, because it, ah, uh, wrong Pokemon line, whatever. Uh, we have Dratini again. Oh, we have uh, Salandit. Looking very sly there. He knows something's going on, but none of us do. Oh, yes! We've got a Wooper. Honestly, Wooper's such a cute Pokemon. It's like, it, it's my top ten. It's in my top ten. Oh, okay. So, so we do get reverses then. So that, that, like, Prism Star... I think they're called Prism Star. That Prism Star was really cool then. A really good pull. Very nice. Although we do have Darumaka. Who is, is that a reprint? I feel like I've seen that art before. Oh, it's very similar to one of the Black and White series. Where he was like running through... I think he was like running through Lumios or something. So it is different. And our rare is a Gyarados. Yo, very nice. I, I like the... Um, the hollow, the hollow effect is similar to GX cards. Basically, it's got that like slightly like ink brush kind of look to it. I, I don't know. There's probably an actual name for that kind of hollow effect, but uh, I don't know that much about cards. So, well, I, I kind of know more than the average amount, I suppose. Uh, right, let's begin with this Reshiram pack. Uh, but yeah, so. And this is my first 2019 video, I realise. So, you know, begin the years you mean to go on. Doing a few more poke openings, maybe? I'm going to try and get my hands, actually. A bit of behind the scenes here. I'm going to try and get my hands on some of those um, Pokeball tins. Like, they're actually shaped like Pokeballs and stuff. They look really cool. Alright, we begin with Heatmo. Uh, I'm sure I've seen that art somewhere before. Like, it, the kind of generic... Is this a um, pop series, maybe? Was Heatmore in any of the Organized Play Pack things? He probably was. Next we have Fion. Pokemon I always forget, because I forget it can evolve. Ooh, we have Darumaka to go along with that um, reverse... No, uh, Darmanitan, sorry, to go with that reverse uh, Darumaka. We have Dratini again. He is popping up everywhere. Oh, very cute horsey to go with my really cool Kingdra GX. Next we have Hakomo. Oh no, Jangmo. Very nice. We have the best boy. Look at him. Look at that majestic form. You know he he could splash his way through the Elite Four. Uh, as could Corsula. But Corsula's just a cutie, so, you know, 
Uh, also quite good defence, I think. Okay, uh, we also have a Dragon Talon. Very nice. Nice um, reverse hollow effect going on with this set. And our final card is a Blaziken. Yo! That's a really nice looking one. And <laughs> Again, I know this has been a theme with this thing, but I swear that's like a Ruby and Sapphire era piece of art. No? Maybe it's meant to look like it, but I remember him doing that pose or whatever. Or maybe I'm just trying to convince myself these are all reprints. Well, they're not all reprints, obviously, but um, yeah. So far, so good. We actually had our best pulls in the first pack. Can we end it on something nice? Come on, Dragonite, you delivered once before, like you delivered mail at the start of the first Pokemon movie, which I hear they're remaking or something. I, I've not seen the trailer or anything yet, but like, cool, I guess. All right, let's begin the final pack with a Charmy. Yo, it means Charizard's in this set. It means there's probably a hollow Charizard, which I imagine, you know, is probably worth more than other hollows in this set because it's a hollow Charizard. Next, we have Drampa. Oh, I forgot about Drampa. How are you, old dragon man thing? Neck. Ooh, yo, dragon air. Very nice, very nifty. Okay. Next up is a cute whooper again. Followed by a swablu, who is also very, very cute and dragon type when it evolves. We have that sly looking Salandit again. We have Charmander. Oh, there we are. All we need is a Charizard in this set now. Can we pull a Rainbow Rare Charizard? I don't know if that's a card in this set, but it probably is, let's face it. We have a Wishy Washy in his regular form. Our reverse is a Fiery Flint again. Have I already had that re Yeah, I had that reverse in the other one. Okay, cool, thanks. And we'll end with a rare, yes, a, um, hollow rare, obviously. Um, it is Como or Yo, he's actually looking pretty cool. As I said, it's not a like, line and big on, but man, that's very nice. Well, this has been quite a successful one. I don't know, um, as I said, don't know the size of the set, so I don't know the chance of getting a GX or whatever. But you know, one in four ain't bad, to be honest. So, that about wraps it up for this time. I will be making more pork openings in the future, just do not know when. Which is the case for most of my videos. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, you know, good. I'll see you again.